The amount of snow cover and how long it persists can affect dissolved oxygen levels in lakes during winter. The winter of 2022 and 2023, we saw near record snowfall across most of the state. And that duration lasted so long that a lot of our lakes uh, had really diminished dissolved oxygen levels. And over time, fish uh, gradually consumed all the oxygen that was in those lakes. So then we ended up with a lot of winter kill scenarios. This winter with the lack of snow is a completely different story for our state's lakes. We haven't had much snow um, cumulatively over the state. We've got a lighter uh, ice pack out there too. Very good uh, light penetration in the lakes and a lot of our lakes just look fabulous in terms of habitat, dissolved oxygen and, and, and habitat for fish. Gangle says the winter of 2022 and 2023, there were nearly 100 lakes on the watch list for potential winter kill. This year we have zero. I mean, every lake that the guys went to uh, with the exception of a few community ponds that we do see uh, low oxygen every year, but all of our major fisheries have good oxygen levels this year from what, what the guys are reporting. There is a downside with the lack of snow for North Dakota's fisheries. Every year we expect a little runoff from, from our snowpack to refill those lakes and re re regenerate our aquifers and stuff to keep our lakes full. And when there's no snowpack on, on the landscape, you know, there's not going to be much runoff this year. The Game and Fish Department manages over 400 lakes, and anglers again this year will have plenty of opportunities when targeting their favorite fish species. I think that this will be a really good fishing year, you know. In spite of the lack of runoff that we're going to have, we, we still have really solid water levels in most places. Access remains fairly good in, in most places. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.